Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazur, as we do each and every every other Monday at the first segment. Dave is the head of product and a managing director at the Direction.com, uh, Direction Shares, and this couldn't be a better time <laughs> to look and having a two-way market, folks, it's hard to even comprehend that. Actually, the small caps are up. The IWM rejected 191. It's trading 198. Dave Mazda, welcome back. Hey, happy to be back. Yeah, what a day to be back. It's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you, when, you, when you look at direction, the bottom line, you guys have been in the cutting edge for a long period of time. Uh, it's been a long time since we've had markets that go down. Uh, it's pretty interesting here, you know, no doubt that we've had the volatility. Um, so let's talk about, you know, I think we should talk about some of the bear funds. I mean, I'm looking for a bounce now, but the reality is that, you know, when you get a good downdraft like this, it, it can, it can be, it, it doesn't get over in a day. Let's put it that way. And, you know, when yeah, I look I at know, this, I think tops and bottoms are processes, right? Not points in time, which I, which I know you and your, your, uh, viewers know, know well. What, what I want to note is to your point on the bear funds, this is a fund we don't talk about very much. Uh, it's the ticker is SPDN. This is an inverse one times, so it's not a, a double or which triple is great. Number five. Yes, uh, it saw the largest ever inflows and its highest ever trading volume in its history on Friday. Today again, it has had off the charts volume compared to its history. So obviously, that means people are coming in looking for hedges. Yes, what I find. Um, uh, notable there is that uh, they, it's not necessarily people looking at SPXS, which is the triple bear fund, it certainly had a lot of volume, that's a much larger fund, but people looking for that hedge just on the, the, the one-time side. Um, that's That was notable. But on the flip side, and now I'm going to switch gears and talk about a bull fund for a second, SOX L, which we talk about all the time, last week, last week, so it's highest ever weekly inflows. That to me was a bit shocking. So I think we're, we're, we're uh, the bulls are not going to go down with a real fight here, especially when thinking about this rotation, you know, away from the tech into the value space. Um, but certainly today, you know, red on the screen nearly everywhere, except small caps to your point are trying to make a bit of a rally here. This is pretty cool, Dave. I, I love having you on, but that information there in general, I mean, you know, being a contrarian, do you know what I mean? It, it's, it's big, it's good, it's great information, man. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. And you, well, you, you know, you know, it's really interesting too, is that a, a lot of the tigers out here, I'm, I'm getting, I'm telling you, man, you got, you got to love markets. I'm getting, I'm getting texts in here that how much we had traders evidently come into the uh, LABU. The uh, the biotech bull, <laughs> which which has been down on a big basis, but evidently they're very happy right now because they just caught caught it as it get down to fifteen bucks. I mean, it's down from sixty six. But the bottom line is that you know this is this is when if they understand what your funds are all about, it's really cool, man. That you know we know that when you have very large moves like this, folks. Okay, and you you know. You have to have been in a couple cycles too. That's the that's the reality. Do you know what I mean? The, the, these guys that so don't if you're new to this market, don't go into the LABU. I'm not saying that. Just as uh, we had a trading room, folks, and they're they're pretty sophisticated. That's the bottom line. But isn't that cool, Dave? <laughs> I saw yeah, I started no, I saw it coming across, and so I was like, okay. And they actually know fundamentally a lot of those stocks too. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, you know, that once I have, you can only go so low. That's the reality. Yeah, and biotech's been a space that just it was just really hammered last year. Um, other than maybe you know a few a few of the, the modernities of the world and BioNTech, what have you, but um, really a space that's been on favor. Uh, we certainly saw Lab D, which is the bear fund, um, you know, be used. You know, yeah. people are looking to maybe play that bounce back. The other couple other funds I'll note that that had seen some. Uptick in volume are the pair Web L and Web S. Okay. This is the Internet Composite. Uh, it's it's a kind of it's Dow Jones Internet Composite Index. Excuse me. It's a bit of an old school index, right? The, it was created in the late '90s for quote unquote the internet. But a lot of the names in here are many of your Fang names plus your Salesforce and some of the cloud names. Just a space that's gotten beaten up really hard. Some of the first to perform uh, poorly in this. But both the bull and the bear there. Um, have seen an uptick in activity, and we're seeing inflows actually onto the bear side of that fund today. So to your point uh, at the beginning of this chat, it's really a two-way market here. And I think 
uh, traders in particular should be able to keep that head on a swivel here because there's going to be opportunities. To me, you know, this isn't an op- this isn't an idea where let's just go to cash and see what happens. We have the products, and again, for people with the know how and the ability to monitor their portfolios on a daily basis, to take advantage of these opportunities, uh, you know, in areas that that either have been out of favor or simply to take the inverse side of what had been working. And you know, as, as Dave's speaking, folks, okay, you know, particularly the, the internet fund we were just talking about, you know, you always got to remember that you are waiting for a pullback. I know it's very hard to step in front of anything, but just just do your homework. Go through, go, come over to our website at TFNN, hit the direction banner. We haven't had a real pullback since 2006. Dave, his team has a lot more ETFs now that, number one, you could stay in a position, you could hedge it just as the first S&P and no tax implications. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. So please come over here, do some studying. It's well worth it. Dave, this is awesome, man. Hey, one more question. You know, on the front page, you still put on the front page the the biggest ins and biggest outs, right? We do, yeah. So take, t- take a look at that. Which is huge. No, insights. totally. Thanks so much, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Talk soon. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>